Hey everybody, Nerd Transform here again, and today I have the Transformers Mashers Soundwave. If you don't know what Mashers are, they're another spin-off line, kind of like how Construct Bots were. Uh, they seem to be hanging around a lot more than Construct Bots. Construct Bots kind of lasted for like a year and just died. Uh, mainly Mashers do Marvel figures, like here's a Spider-Man I have that's Mashers. And they're very much stylized, like you see he has like really skinny ankles and he has like this stylized on his uh, chest muscles. And the whole gimmick is that they can come apart and you can combine parts and such. You can see, like, you can move this piece and attach it to his arm or something. And they also have these little ports all over them for their weapons and such. And it didn't really work as well with Marvel because you can see you have Spider-Man with all these, like, little mechanism holes all over him. But with Transformers, this works quite a bit better as, at least there, you can just say they're, like, robot ports or something. As you can see, he has them on his back as well. He basically has one on each part of his body except for his head. So yeah, he has one on everywhere on all of his parts, and his back has two. But yeah, he looks pretty cool. The only odd thing about it, he actually is very much like G1 accurate. Or like a classic, like kind of like what classics did with G1. He's very close to G1 accurate here. only odd thing, he doesn't have the Decepticon symbol. I don't know if he, they just couldn't get the... Right to use the, the symbols, but none of the Transformer Masters I've seen have the Autobar Decepticon symbol. And it does make his chest look kind of blank. It looks like it, does, it really needs it. But the paint on it's really well. His leg, I believe, is actually, yeah, if you look on the NCC blue, so his leg's actually painted, has black painted on it. His arms have the silver and red on the forearms. I think even the hand might be, I don't think the hand's painted, but it's shiny enough that it almost looks like it could be. Uh, the arm, the upper arms do have a little bit of red and black. The chest, the crotch area does have the silver and you do get the golden light and the light blue for here and the head while it does stop halfway back it does have really good silver for the face plate and the red eyes so it's painted better than most transformers you get now so it's pretty nice as far as parts come off uh, he it's mainly his arms his head and his legs both the upper and lower parts of his legs are two separate pieces the upper arms, while they do move on him, are not separate pieces. They don't, they don't come off, at least. I'm sure you could take them apart and do it, but it's not meant to come off. So you're kind of just left to this torso, which is basically what Marvel Masters does, too, because with the Spider-Man here, it's the same thing, just the two pieces of the legs and the arm and then the head. His chest does not come into what the crotch area, and the arms don't come off. Now, Soundwave here is a bit better because he actually has outward arm movement. Well, this Masher, Spider-Man Masher... Um, does not. You see, he does not have the joint for it. So it's pretty. He's pretty unique. He is one of the better mashers, as he's one of the ones that. The only ones that are better are the ones that come with like an ankle pivot. But even just having the arm outward is plain for me. But there's all the pieces he has. You know, if you tore them apart, basic for mashers. He also has a bunch of other pieces, as they all. A lot of mashers come with a bunch of accessories. Yeah, all of that came with Soundwave. So let's get him back together first, and we'll talk about articulations and his uh, accessories. And it really doesn't take long to put, pull them apart and put them together. And I'm sure if you had a whole lot of, like, uh, like if we were to take Spider-Man's piece here, you could, say, give him Spider-Man arm if you want. Well, it might work to b better to put transform pieces on Spider-Man and make him into, like, the Iron Spider or something. But they are all working out. They don't just work with other Transformers pieces. They also work with other anything that smashers. So there's that if you ever want to do that. Uh, as far as size goes, here he is next to Deluxe Drag G2 Combined Works Drag Strike. So you can see he's a little bit taller than a Deluxe, just a head taller. And you know what? Here's the Spider-Man just to get it out of the way. And all the Marvel Mashers are about this height, so. Uh, the first two sex accessories are pretty much Soundwave's iconic weapons. You can see here's his uh, over-the-shoulder cannon, and because it does have his peg here, you can peg it into his back and give him a over-the-shoulder. It does stick out a little bit, but it looks great from the front. And you can have him hold it. His hands do have two different hole sizes. You can see this one's much smaller than this one. That kind of fits with the smaller peg here and then the larger peg there. And I don't know why they give him this stupidly huge handle on this weapon. And his hand can't go all the way up either. It stops right here. 
You'll see what I mean. On the smaller peg, it only goes down to small peg, which looks ridiculous. And on the hand that has the slightly bigger peg, it goes in a, a bit further, but you still can't get the rest of that handle through because of, of the angle. So you're stuck with him holding the weapon this far out, which just looks really, really odd. Ah, oh, so the camera work with me. Okay, there we go. Only way I can really get look right is to have his elbow bent. But, you know. Um, as far as articulation goes, he does have a swivel. And he does have a hinge that lets him look up and down. This varies from figure to figure. They all basically all have the same articulation. Except for the shoulders might vary and the feet might vary. Soundwave here is one of the lucky ones where he gets the outward movement. So he can go outward that far. And you can, of course, rotate all the way around. You do get an elbow, and because of how it attaches, you do get a swivel below the elbow. So you can give him an uppercut if you want. Nothing at the waist, unfortunately, despite this not transforming. You'd think they would be able to put a waist swivel in. Especially since that would be, I mean, you could also have another part that comes off here. Uh, legs do get about the same as the arm does going outward. And you do get a swivel above the knee. And you get a knee hinge, as well as a swivel below the knee. So you get two swivels there. So that's pretty good articulation. And he does make for a pretty good iconic sound wave here. But then we have all these other parts. Uh, we have this arm piece, which I have noticed Marvel Masters do come with these random pieces. Like, I had a, Marvel's, a Marvel Masters whiplash. He came with Hulk pieces for some reason. But you can swap it out. Plug it in, and I believe this is actually Inferno's arm. I'm not perfectly sure, but I think it's Inferno's arm based off like the fire hose look it has. It doesn't look bad. It's just kind of random for Soundwave to have it. And it's not like uh, Mar Marvel Legends where you have like a bunch of pieces across the whole line that make one figure. You also have this gun that he can hold, of course. But he can also hold it by the... Uh, it's kind of like the little Legion class weapons where... One way is a gun, the other way is a melee weapon, because he can't hold it like this to by the barrel to use it as like an axe. And you can kind of see where they're going with that. And his last two accessories are these gas tanks looking things. Um, I don't think these are actually gold plastic, I think they're just painted gold. You can see they also have a blue stripe on them. And this weapon's also pretty painted pretty nicely. It looks like gold paint with a red stripe. Uh, get these you can kind of add anywhere you want, anywhere there's, where there's peg holes. You could add them to his hips, you know, you could add them to his knees. Um, you could add them to his shoulders and pretend they're either like... Oh, and it's, that's a problem with some of these. Sometimes the joints on the elbows and knees are so tight you actually end up popping the piece off instead of moving the joint. Nothing's broken yet, but it is a bit better quality than the construct bots, at least. Uh, you can add these to the shoulders and pretend they're like... Um, boosters from the fly, or you can pretend they're actually ammunition. Personally, I just attach them to the gun here, and have him hold that, and just pretend it's like a really big, another really big gun for him to use. I mean, he does look pretty well equipped. The only thing you really have a place to put is uh, the extra arm. But it does mean it's an easy way to store all the extra pieces you have for them, because you can just keep them all together like this. Or I guess you could have them hold it. There. So you can actually keep all the extra pieces together, and you could probably add on his other two weapons too if you wanted. But I'm pretty much just to display him with his cannon and his uh, over-shoulder gun. Oh, and it does have a missile. Uh, this little gold button. Pretty powerful too, actually. It loads back in just fine, so probably what I'm going to end up doing is cutting it off about here and trying to straighten this out to fit in his hand better. Probably shave it down a little bit because I just don't like how far it sticks up. And you can also, of course, store it away by picking it to his back, but then you're stuck with it going out this far. I kind of wish I had a, um, a piece stick out like that, like this one did, so at least you give him like a double shoulder cannon. But, you know. So yeah, that's the Master Soundwave. Pretty interesting little sideline. I don't have any more Transformer ones. The only ones other Masters I have are Spider-Man and Whiplash. But I thought about picking up 
like Hot Rod and Jet Fire, and there's also they've also done the Dinobots in their Dino mode. And there's also Optimus, Megatron. They, a lot, some of them also come with like enhanced parts. Like I know Optimus, there's a version of Optimus that comes like with all this extra armor bits for his legs and his arms. So there's a lot of cool things out there. I, rec I would recommend getting into the line if you're interested in like just having some really like, well done figures because they do articulate pretty well and they look pretty good on the shelf. Like he's kind of my stand-in until I get the Titans Return sound wave. So, this has been Nerdy Transformed. I hope you enjoyed this review, and hope you have a good day. Take care.